Alright guys, it's Scotty here. Um, maybe you've watched my video on Coach Placement 101. Uh, the basics, I did go a little bit more into depth so you guys can understand and have a bigger picture of what's going on because what you see, I know in the beginning, is very little. You have a few coaches on your, on your strong leg and then you know, it's up to you to build your weak leg. So we went into detail so you can understand that. I'm going to go, this is for more advanced coaches. I want to teach you guys some great things for long term growth of your business, for uh, creating max bonus cycles, for your business to create uh, a long term uh, financial freedom. You know, a business that, that will continue to support you and your family, give you the freedom that I know a lot of you join this business to do. If you're brand new and uh, you haven't watched the other video or you, you're very brand new, this might confuse you a little bit. Uh, you might not want to watch this yet. But you might want to uh, if you're one of those that likes to learn and get an idea of what's coming down the road on how to build this business. I'm going to talk to you guys about this. Um, looks like my marker's about to run out. This is Scotty here. I'm going to teach you guys some things, okay, uh, for long-term business growth. We talked about in the other video that this is Lindsay up here in my upline, okay. Lindsay. Okay, Scotty. So my right leg is my strong leg. My left leg is my weak leg. Okay, I'm gonna teach you guys some things here that you can do, um, and this is for those of you that are building a very strong business. Maybe you're already a diamond, you know. I, and I wouldn't even do some of these things until you are a diamond coach, until you've really began to build an organization. You're a solid recruiter for your business. By solid, I mean bringing in at least five coaches a month, um, just so that you know your team is getting uh, coaches on their strong leg and their weak leg. Um, so I'm going to talk about my organization here. Let's say, you know, this is my strong leg. This is my weak leg. Strong leg's coming down. And so you guys know, I, you know, my strong leg. There's a few coaches from Lindsay and from above. Uh, like Katie Hefner is a seven, eight star diamond. You know, Katie's over here on the strong leg, building a business. You know, so it's a really strong organization over here. This is my weak leg, which is very strong as well. You know, it ranges between. Uh, currently between 30,000 to 50,000 PV over here, you know, 120,000 to 160,000 PV over here on the strong leg. So I want to teach you guys a few things about how to build a more in-depth organization, some of the more deep things. One of the things I want you to understand is make sure that you build your business long term. Every decision you make should be long term, okay, which means you need to, yes, you need to add volume into your weak leg because that is how you get paid. Um, you know, for every one 100 PV, you guys know this, to 200 PV, you get paid a bonus cycle, okay? And we're talking about diamond and above right now. So diamond is $18 per cycle. So you build this organization. This is the weak leg. You know, you start to build your business. It's not so weak anymore. This is a strong leg, okay? I'm going to teach you guys something here that you can do, whether it's with your spouse's account or whether you are a uh, two-star diamond and you have a second business center or you uh, go two-star diamond in your second business center and you have a third business center, okay? Uh, make sure you guys know that. You, you need to build evenly, you know, with in mind, once again, that you get paid on your weak leg, but you do need to build evenly because I'm going to teach you a few things that uh, you need to understand if you're building a long-term business. For example, if you want to go to 10-star, if you want to go to 5-star, 10-star, 15-star, you have to have we're going to talk about this. You have to have, to go past one star, you have to have a diamond on each side to be two star. If I had two diamonds on my weak leg, two diamonds over here, no diamonds over here, I'm still a one star even though I have two diamonds, okay? Very important to know. To go to five star, I have to have at least two diamonds on one side, three on the other. I could have nine diamonds on my, on my weak leg, and I could have one diamond on my strong leg, which means I technically have 10 star. You are not a 10 star diamond. You are just a four star diamond, okay? Because there's only one over here, and there's nine over here. You have to have, to go past five star, you have to have two on one leg, at least, and then three on the other would be five star. So if I had two over here, say I have two, I'll, I'll make a star for diamonds. Let's say I have two diamonds here, and I have nine over here. Let's just say I have nine, okay? Nine, nine diamonds. That's 11 diamond coaches. That's 11 diamond coaches. I am not an 11 star diamond. 
That is because to go past 10 star, you have to have five diamonds on one side, five diamonds on the other side to go past 10 star diamond. So if I only had two over here, heck, if I had uh, four over here, four diamonds over here, let's say I have four diamonds, four diamonds, nine diamonds. <sighs> okay, there's 13. I'm not a 13 star diamond because I don't have five diamonds over here. So remember you have to build evenly if you're thinking long term and you want to go past that. This would be a 9 star diamond coach because I, I can't go past 10 star until I get a 5th diamond over here. Now if I have 9 diamonds over here and 4 here and all of a sudden I have another diamond come up here. Now I have 5 diamonds over here. 5 diamonds and I have my 9 diamonds over here. I am officially a 14 star. So. Important to remember for long-term business building that to go past one star, you gotta have a diamond on each side to be two star. To go past five star, you gotta have at least two on e two on each side to go past five star. To go past ten star, you gotta have at least five on each side. Really, technically, as you learn this business and you can look at the coach rank chart, I have it on ScottyHubs.com as well. You cap out one business center at twelve thousand dollars, which is a dime is a, which is a ten star diamond. So technically. You cap out at five, five diamonds and five diamonds. You cap out at twelve thousand dollars a week. Okay. Only reason to go to fifteen star diamond really is for the fifteen star bonus. And I'll let you guys figure out what the fifteen star diamond bonus is quarterly. You know, it changes, but I'll let you guys figure that out. It's a nice bonus. So if you can do it, you know, go for fifteen star. I'm going for fifteen star personally. Um, but that's how it works. Uh, remember, long term. You know, yes, you want to. You want to build a lot of coaches on your weak leg because that's where your volume you get paid on, but don't get caught to where your volume gets so big that you're capped out at a certain level because you don't have enough coaches to go past 5 star or you don't have enough coaches to go past 10 star. So remember that long term. okay? Um, and just so you know the cap out, uh, I have it also at scottyobbs.com under a website post called Coach Rank. Um, a uh, diamond coach caps out at $2,000 a week, one star at $3,000, two star at $4,000, three star at $5,000, four star at $6,000, all the way up to 10 star caps out at $12,000 per week. Okay, and that's just your team bonus cycle. You still make the 10% match bonus on top of that, you still make all your commissions, etc., but your team bonus caps out at $12,000 or whatever rank you're at. If you're a two star, your, your team will cap out at um, $4,000 a week is what you'll be paid for your team commission. So even if you had 50,000 50, PV over here and you had 100,000 over here, you know, technically you could cap out at like uh, seven, eight star diamond uh, if you are an eight star diamond, but if you were just a two star diamond, no matter that you have all that volume in your team, you would cap out two star diamond at four, you would only make four thousand dollars for your week that team. So it's important to uh, build rank as you build your organization. To, uh, lead that example so that you can capture all of your team bonus cycles. So we got that covered um, on how to make team bonus cycles, you know, um, and and building a solid organization that's balanced so that you can advance in rank. Um, for example, my organization right now, we have. Uh, we're seven star diamond. We have two diamonds on my right leg. We have five diamonds on my left leg, and we have, uh, you know, we have the three lined out for for becoming diamonds in the next month, two months at the most. And over here, we have the remaining diamonds. So we'll have five diamonds on my right leg, and we'll have ten diamonds, uh, more like 11, 12 diamonds on my left leg. So we will be able to go past ten star and hit fifteen star because we have five diamonds on the right, and we have ten diamonds at least on the left. So, and, and it could be totally opposite. It could be 10 diamonds over here. It could be 7 diamonds here, 8 diamonds here, and your 15 star. Just make sure you have that balance of at least 5 on each side to go past 10 star. Okay, so that's how that works. I want to teach you guys something. You know, we teach in, in the Coach Basics, in, or in the coach, uh, coach Placement 101 video I made that, you know, if, as I co sponsor Coach on my right leg, it comes down and it goes outside. If Katie placed the coach on the right side, it comes down on the outside. So it goes wide like this, and everybody has their own weak leg, right? 
Same thing on my on my weak leg here. So I, I place the coach on my left. It goes right here. Uh, we'll we'll just name a couple names. I got Brigida, Linford, Jennifer Greenberg. These are my I, I'm say, I'm naming them because they're my star diamond coaches on that leg. So their left leg, for example, is their is their strong leg because if I if I place down the left leg, it comes down here. It's their strong leg. So Brigida places down here left. That's her strong leg. So all these guys, their left leg is their strong leg. Each of them have their own right leg, which is their weak leg, and they build their or their own organization in that manner, where this is their weak leg, and they begin to build out. You can go watch, if you don't understand this right here, you need to go back, back and watch Coach Place 101 video that I made. Um, but what, what I'm going to explain here is, uh, let's say, um, you know, in that Coach 101 video, I talk about placing your spouse on your weak leg. Let's say Gabby. Gabby's my spouse, if you guys don't know that. Gabby's a one-star diamond. So if Gabby's right here, okay? Gabby's got her own organization. Gabby's left leg is her sh is left leg is her strong leg. This right leg is her weak leg. And remember, this is only for you you guys that are sponsoring that you guys that are um, become coaches that are good at recruiting. That get you know five coaches a month, three five coaches a month or so. So this is Gabby's organization. What I want to teach you guys that you guys can do to build long term growth and more residual income is here's the rule. So my left leg, right? My left leg technically they come down here. What I can do is I can take my wife's coach ID number 111273 is her coach ID number. I can go to set preferred placement. I can put in her number 111273 and I can put right leg. Okay? I can put 111273 right leg. What's going to happen is when I sponsor a coach, that coach is going to go to coach ID 111273 to the right leg, and it's going to come to the next spot available down the line on the right leg. So right here, let's say. Okay? Important thing to know, this is a left leg coach, personally sponsored coach. A left leg personally sponsored coach on my weak leg. Okay? But it's also on my wife's right leg, which is her weak leg. Now, what is the benefit of this? This is her right leg. She gets paid bonus cycles on this leg. So, you know, if she's a diamond, she makes $18 per cycle. I'm a diamond. I'm a star diamond, so I make $18 per cycle on this leg. Now, what happens is there's PV on her right leg, which come from this coach that I placed over here who's going to build their own organization, right? They have their strong leg, which is their right, their weak leg, which is their left. So what we have here is now this coach that I placed right here, which is my PS coach, is now under my wife's weak leg and under my weak leg, okay? My weak leg, my wife's weak leg, now we get paid two bonus cycles for everything that happens in that organization as they build a team. Gabby gets paid for the 100 PV on her weak leg to 200 on her strong leg. She gets paid on it, I get paid on it, okay? So this, remember this is more in-depth stuff for those of you that are recruiting coaches and building a solid organization. I wouldn't even think about this stuff until you're a diamond coach and you can build a solid organization in your first business, but it's important to know long-term. Same thing goes, this is my spouse. Here's one thing that I don't recommend. Don't ever do this to, for one of your friends or any of your PS coaches. Only for a spouse. And the only reason it says because you have no control over what one of your coaches will do in the future if anything happens to them, if they decide to quit or anything like that ever. You wouldn't want to place over here one of your PS coaches under a coach that you have no control over what they decide to do with their business. They may never build a business and this coach will be stuck inside with no help from you. So only do it for a spouse or for one of your business centers, okay? Same thing goes for uh, teaching you guys here, you know, this is, a, a, for example, with a spouse. Once you become two-star diamond, I want you guys to write this down if you don't know. Once you become two-star diamond, you have a diamond on your left, your right leg, diamond on your left leg, your two-star diamond. Now you can be, open your second business center. So you guys know what a second business center is? That means you get to sign yourself up under yourself, okay? We'll make sure you guys understand what that means. You sign yourself up under yourself. So Scotty's up here. I become a two-star diamond with uh, my first two diamond coaches, Becky. 
and Melissa Van Leuven. I'm a two-star diamond. Bam. I open my second business center. Obviously, I'm going to put my second business center in my weak leg. Because as I build that, that whole business, it's all under my weak leg. So that business, everything that I do in that business, I get paid a bonus cycle in my first business. So I'll say this is my second business center. Second biz. Okay? Second business center. Also, when I become a diamond in my second business center, I am also, that diamond counts towards my diamond rank. So if I'm a seven star and my second business center goes to diamond, now I'm an eight star. That counts. So my second business center is right here in my weak leg. I start my own, very own weak leg of the second business center, which would then be the right leg right here. Same idea can apply right here that I'm talking about with your spouse that I can do. If I if I still want to sponsor in my first business center, you know, I'm sponsoring in this business center the same thing. PS coach sponsored by this business on the left, on the right, I'm an Emerald coach. Same thing, okay? Same thing as this organization just starting brand new. What I can do if I'm still sponsoring in my first business center as well, I can sponsor a coach on on my left leg, but I would then put the coach ID. This one, for example, is 155224. I think. <laughs> For some reason I just had a blank. But my second business center. What I can do is I can go to coach preferred placement. I can put this number and right leg. And set placement. That coach then if I sponsor with this first business center is going to come to this coach ID 155224 right leg. It's going to go right here. And it's on this weak leg of this second business center. Okay. So now I have a PS coach over here in my first business center, but it's under the weak leg of my second business center. So I can build an organization like that. That way I can help build volume in the weak leg of my second business center if I'm still sponsoring in my first business center. So I want to make sure you guys understand that. Same thing applies when the second business center goes two star diamond, I get a diamond on the left, a diamond on the right, diamond on the left. I can open a third business center under my second business center. And and that third business center, I obviously want to put that in my weak leg of my second business center. So I would put my third business right here in the right leg of my second business center. Cool thing about this is, uh, you know, something happens in this business. Um, this second business gets paid a bonus cycle on it. And the first business center, it's on the weak leg, gets paid a bonus cycle on it. But remember, some people are like, oh, well, that's, you know, basically they're giving product away for free at that point. The important thing to know is that, remember, you cap out at a certain rank. So, I mean, we are only months away from capping out in my first business center, which means we'll, we would cap out at 10 star, $12,000 a week, no matter how big the organization gets. So, you know, technically, as I build my third business center under the weak leg of my second business center, you know, that volume is going to continue to grow the, the volume of my first business center. But, you know, we won't get paid on that one because that one's capped out at 12000 But we will get paid on the second business center as we're, we're building that one and the third business will grow. The cool thing about this, you guys, is you guys got to dream big as you build your business. You know, once we hit a six-figure income in my first business uh, shortly after a year, I realized as I started to build my second, I was like, holy crap. I built a six-figure income in my first business center. I can build a six-figure business with Gabby. I can build a six-figure business with my second business center. So understand that. You guys have all the potential in the world to build multiple businesses and that you're in this for the long term and that uh, if you can do it in one, you can do it in the second. You can do it in your spouse's business as well. And that is where long-term residual income comes. That is how we are able to pay our house off um, you know, we paid the last $100,000 off of our house from January 1st to the middle of May uh, to, to receive the Financial Freedom Award at Summit. And it's because we have uh, been extremely smart in how to build our business. And, and as you build your business, just remember to just keep an eye on the growth and what's happening. Treat it like a business, 100%. Treat it like a business. You should know what your volume is like. You should know the trends of your volume for each week. Because as you build your business, you need to make sure to keep that balance. You know, if your strong leg is at 100,000 and your weak leg is at 10,000, you know that you have another 40,000 to grow on this side. So you need to be building on your weak leg. Now, if, uh, 
you begin to watch it and uh, they begin to get out of balance, then you know you need to start building more on the other, you know, if this one's at 40,000 and this one's at 50,000, then you know you've got to build your strong leg up more so that you can have the balance of 100 to 200 PV. And that goes in any one of your businesses. So I say don't, don't even look at this stuff until you're like a diamond coach really, you know, placing inside on a spouse's leg or placing inside on the second business center. But make sure that you understand that, that that is something that you can do because that's going to help you build a more long-term residual income. It's going to boost uh, the speed that you build your business a little bit. And uh, I hope that makes sense to you guys. And just understand that as you become a two-star diamond in your third business center, you open your you can open your fourth business center. Obviously, you place that fourth business center depending on what your team volume looks like, but on your weak leg. Okay. Um, there you go. Remember the important stuff about the beginning about building a balanced team. Yes, you want to uh, build strongly on your weak legs so you can get paid for your efforts. But the awesome thing about a business like this is, you know, if we go to Coach Summit or we have leadership in September. If I go to leadership and I completely um, shut down and I, I don't do my business at all except post pictures of what we're doing and what we're learning, but I don't work the business. The cool thing is that uh, this whole organization, this whole organization, um, they're striving to achieve their goals. We've uh, led them, we've been their example, inspired vision in their life for what they want to achieve. So these guys, even if we're asleep, even if we're on vacation, these guys are working on building their businesses. Okay, these guys are working on their goals, on their success club goals and building their businesses. So we can be gone for a week, that team volume is not going to change. It's going to grow the same pace. You're still going to get paid the same amount even if you do not do anything for a, a whole week when you're on vacation. We took a, we took a 10 day vacation to Puerto Rico. Um, I made sure I hit my success club 10 goal before we left. I left for, I was actually like 11 days. We got back and we made a full time income even though we were gone for the whole week. Yes, I had a lot to do catching up when I got back. Um, but just remember, that's the power of a business like this, is when you build this business, it doesn't just happen. This takes a lot of work. It takes working from a list. It, where it means cre treating it like a business that you want it to be. I treat my business like a million dollar business right now. I treat it like more than a million dollar business. I treat like each one of these businesses as a million dollar business. So I show up every single day to build my business, to work on my business. And, and the thing about that is, that uh, when you work it like that, you know, you can take, you have to set hours. You work your business and then you have your family time or whatever it is you do. But the cool thing about a business like this and why this is the, the most awesome business in the world is you get to see people like my coach Brigida Linford last week, who is a four star diamond. She just retired her husband from his job. They're a full time family. I mean, how awesome is it to know that you have the ability to help somebody else achieve what you've done with your life? Uh, another thing, Jennifer Greenberg and Michael, we spent Jackson Hole with them two weeks ago, whitewater rafting the week before that. They're from Tennessee. She's a three-star diamond, and they're on like a 50-day road trip in an RV because they've built a business where they can work from the road, they can retire themselves, and they can build their business. So the awesome thing about a business like this, you lead by example. Your business makes you money while you sleep because I may go to sleep at 10 o'clock, but we got Katie over here in PA, working her business at 12 o'clock. She's, uh, she's up at 4, let's say she's up at 4.30. Our Brigitte's up at 4.30 and she's working on her goals. She's working on, on taking her business uh, from a six figure to a five figure income. She's working her butt off at four o'clock in the morning. You're still asleep. Your business is growing because these coaches that you are inspiring are building their businesses and they're working on their goals and dreams as well. So this business makes money while you sleep but it doesn't just do it, it doesn't just happen. It takes a lot of hard work. Um, and remember that your income, I, I'm gonna say this, I'll put a little thing, but remember your income is uh, not guaranteed. It's uh, a direct reflection of, of the work that you put in and the skill level that you do uh, as you uh, bring people into the business and get them started. Remember that Beachbody does not guarantee any level of success or income. It's all up to you and what you decide to do. So there is advanced coach placement training for you guys in how Team Beachbody works as a network marketing company. Uh, you, have your, you have the binary system, you have the left leg and the strong leg, and remember that you cap out at certain ranks. So go build your dream. <laughs>